Welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley Dream Snaps Challenge. I just love opening my mail on a Wednesday to see my results and share them with all of you. So, let's have a look at how we did in the Under the Sea Challenge. This was one of my favorite challenges. I love all the decor that we have for the Little Mermaid and had so much fun decorating with them, so I was happy with the results I got for this challenge. I got a score of 75.70 and ranked 5294. We earned another 4,000 Moonstones which is great. I really like the reindeer decorations in the premium store this week so I'll be spending some of my hard-earned Moonstones on these. I have all of the clothing items from Scrooge's store, so I normally don't bother sharing what's in my chests that we get as part of the rewards. But this week's chest was filled with decor items, and I got a new stall which I've not collected yet. Now let's have a look at this week's challenge. The theme is a day at Disney and it's an outfit challenge. They want us to dress in the perfect outfit for a day at the Disney theme parks. The mandatory categories are cute and playful, and they suggest we use clothing items that are from the hats, gloves, and wondrous categories. So, let's get dressed in our perfect outfit. We want to be colorful but also comfortable. I first wanted to include my new favorite companion, the little jester monkey. And we can't go to the Disney park without the perfect pair of Mickey ears. I chose the strawberry donut ones, they're super cute. I wanted to include items from as many different Disney and Pixar films as possible. There are so many clothing items to pick from. But I feel like this outfit could have worked for the Jean Dreams challenge too. I guess my idea of comfort is the same regardless of the theme. I couldn't decide which bag would be best, I love them all. After getting my outfit done, I added a few decorations to match the theme. Then I got ready with my little monkey to get the perfect shot. I just love the poses that are available with this critter. It's so funny when he pulls faces. But after waiting a bit I got the perfect shot. And now that we're done with our submission for this week, we can vote on all of your lovely photos in the holiday cheer challenge. This was a decor challenge, so we'll be focusing on the decorations used. As always there were some amazing photos and I loved seeing everyone's creativity. I saw a post recently on Reddit where someone commented about the photos that seemed to be low effort and how they refused to vote on these. They simply back out of the voting screen and reopen it to get new options to vote on. They felt that players that put in little effort do not deserve the votes as much as players that have put in a lot of effort. I understood why they would do this, but I've recently restarted my game on my second account and have tried submitting photos for Dream Snaps on that account. It can be really hard for new players who might not have as many decorations or clothing items available to choose from. Also, some players might be really young and not understand or be as creative as an adult player. I feel like everyone that has made the effort to submit a photo for the challenge should at least get the chance to receive votes regardless of how great the submission is. It might not be that it's a low effort photo, it could just be that that was all they had available to them. Anyway, that was my take on the post. What do you think about this way of voting? But that's all for this week's Dream Snaps challenge. Please leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I hope to see you next time as we go on more Disney adventures.